Okay, I'm back home and I brought the gimbal tsunami home. This is the 10 inch gimbal tsunami as opposed to the 8 inch. The 10 inch is so much better and it has the little, let's see if I can get in there, it has a crossbar in there. The 8 inch tsunami had just a tiny little metal uh, bar, just a little piece that went straight across. Anyway, this is going to do the trick and hold my camera up for me while I walk. Let me see if I can get it on right. Bear with me. Technical difficulties, please stand by. Anyway, you can see this. The little this little brown guy here, he, he rotates. And when I put my camera in place, let's see if I can do this. Do, do, do. Like so. There. I just stick the I have um, on, on this particular stand I have um, I have two of the legs securely inside the little mount and I can rotate it. It's really cool. Ooh, getting seasick. We're not even fishing yet. And um, yeah, so this is cool. I like it. Now to go outside. I did notice that when I brought it outside before it made there was like a lot of noise like that crunch 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 um might be a good idea to do voiceovers with this if that's going to be a problem i might find another thing oh i know what i can do i can probably wrap the the legs in maybe some uh foam rubber or something yeah i would take care of it so anywho backing it up outside that this is going to greatly reduce the um, tension on my wrists. So I think that you should definitely check this out. Get the gimbal tsunami. For short money, can't be beat. It was under 10 bucks. Yeah, Dick's Sporting Goods has it. You can go online and get it. So anyway, get it, you'll love it. It's great for fishing, obviously, but wow, for camera work, short money, it can't be beat. This is wonderful. Okay, <laughs> too much fun. I'm gonna go outside and play. So, see you later.